couple tyranny busters right now. Just uh, headed over to my friend Mike Dubois' office, the, the Liberty Library. And I wanted to uh, just stop by and talk to him about Operation Bastiat. It's a little project that he's put together where he's uh, mailing out to uh, uh, a whole, whole whole mess of people uh, the book, The Law, written by Frederick Bastiat. So uh, join me. Come along. Hey Mike Benoit, what's going on, man? Oh, not much, Mario. You see this book here, The Law? Yeah, I wanted to come over here and talk to you about it. Well, you see all these books on that table here, The Law? Yeah. I read them all. Man! Yep. A lot of books. A lot of books, but you know what? Huh. They say the same thing. <laughs> it's the truth. All right. What's that what is it, truth in regards to? Well, it's a blueprint for a just society. Okay. And what does that mean? Well, what's a just society? I guess it's a society that we don't violate each other. Okay. And when we do, we have to have some mechanism to deal with it. And that's what Frederick Bastiat, the 18th century, 19th century Frenchman, uh, wrote about in this book, The Law. What are you going to do with all these books? Well, we've got a major project going on right now to get this distributed, kind of like uh, Johnny Appleseed. Yeah. You know, where he planted all those apple trees and then everybody had apples. Well, uh, the project here is to get people to not only read this book, The Law, but to become sort of disseminators of the information there and give it out Christmas gifts, friends, families, whatever, and, and do maybe to their sh local sheriffs, their attorney, uh, U.S. attorneys or uh, district attorneys in the local area, just lawyers in general, mm -hmm. uh, because... Again, it'll, it'll show people how we've got so far a field of real law. We've got, we're prosecuting people for non-crimes now. So I've um, mailed out 2,200 of these right now. 2,200? 2,200 of them. Man! Over. Yeah. That's a lot of books. A lot of books. It costs a lot of money to do something like that. Well, yeah, but you know, people are, you know, I give them the opportunity to help me and they, and some do, they give me some money back. Nice. So. You know, keep doing this. Nice. And so, but I'm hoping those 2,200 or 3,000 people um, will turn, because 3,000 is the number I targeted, so we've got 800 more to go, that they'll turn into spreading the word as well. Johnny and Appleseeds. Johnny Appleseeds. I got you. So, when did you read the law, man? Well, I probably, maybe it was 20 years ago. I lose track of time sometimes. Mm hmm. Goes by faster the older you get. Mm hmm. What was that? I mean, was that a, a shift in your. Uh, your state of mind, or you know, obviously it had deep, deep impact on you for you to uh, put forth the Operation Bosti out the way that you are. Well, I, it wasn't a shift so much as it was like uh, explaining what I, I inherently knew deep inside, you know, the principles that I already believed in, but it, it put things in such a way that I could communicate them a lot better. And Bastiat himself didn't claim to like invent these things or discover these things. His claim was that he had this ability to bring it down and to a level that uh, people could could uh, comprehend. And a good way of explaining it, if you will. Gotcha, gotcha. So these things are uh, kind of common sense to anybody who's uh, trying to is about liberty. Yeah, and, and you know, I'm not sure that I favor the common sense term, but um, if you're about liberty, if that's who, what your premise is, yeah, versus being your premise is about controlling other people, because mm -hmm. I kind of think we fall into those two categories, and then maybe sub subcategories from there. There are people that want to prohibit, and there are people who want to liberate. So if your premise is is liberty, it gives you a basis to to com to apply that to all kinds of issues that might come up because some people come up and on, on one issue they side on the side of security instead of the side of liberty and they justify it as a good thing because they think it's going to bring them security uh, but 
and that's really dealing delving into the area of prohibition versus liberation all right cool well we got 2200 copies out and uh, you're just going to keep on sending these out is there, is there a certain number that you're going to reach and then stop or what, what's the what's the plan with this operation well i like to keep it going on a, on a roll i'll keep rolling it out there and of course we have to send it out to people that would be more of a target rich audience people would be more inclined to uh, read it and also turn around and disseminate it to others and and so you know kind of like uh multi-level marketing but the reward is liberty instead of money yeah so well i see you got the ron paul shirt on and i i think i remember ron paul saying uh when asked the question what book would you recommend this was the book this was the book and when you're talking about say political book you know in yeah. the sense that it's so it's short and even though some folks have a little trouble understanding it and um you know i think that uh, not that it's complicated but it's like so that the um the message really sinks in versus kind of just glossing over it you can read this book as uh, like a bathroom book you can read one page and it has a concept on that one page you can just kind of think about it during the course of the day and just kind of work it that way uh, on down the line i tell people that it's it's like the Bible, like the ten commandments are to society the book the law is similar it would be the same thing to government and so, you know, as society, thou shalt not kill, steal, and, and all of those things. And, and here, this is basically to government what thou shalt not do. And that is violate uh, the people that you're supposed to be represented in that guise of, you know, representing them or, uh, you know, writing laws that violate them instead of protect their rights. All right. Sounds good. Well, I really uh, look appreciate your work here man i look forward to see what the fruits of this uh, operation are going to become and uh, how can people get in touch with you if they're interested well all kinds of ways mb libertarian 7 at earthlink one way uh tyrannybusters.org they can check us out there too we got uh, go to my website michaelbenois.org that's for when i run for congress We've got another website Pier uh, well Payne bostia and jefferson freedom fellowship pbj freedomfellowship.com. Sounds good. All right. Well, we'll stay in touch, man. All right. Thanks. Thanks.